Okay, I want to do a video review of this uh, New Testament. It's a Byzantine-based uh, New Testament. This was actually a gift to me from uh, one of the viewers of this channel. Uh, he sent it to me, and for that I want to thank him very much. Um, but it was noteworthy enough that I want to do a review of it. And this is an Eastern Orthodox uh, Greek New Testament, which means it's a Byzantine-based uh, text, and it has some unique features. You can see as you open it up here, it's got a nice paste-down uh, liner there with a neat design, and it's about the same color. If you've got a textual commentary from uh, Bruce Metzger, it's a little bit uh, lighter than that color, so if you're accustomed to either UBS um, for uh, Greek New Testament or the textual commentary. It's about that same color. Um, it's got a nice um, cross um, kind of design there. And just had some neat features. It's a very handy size. In fact, um, sorry about that. Very handy size. Um, very thin, lightweight. Um, but yeah, this is the Eastern Orthodox um, translation. And what they did is they took the um, W.E.B. translation and um, they modified it to um, basically fit their needs. So what's interesting about this is how many uh, text critical notes are here, which really actually makes this volume in itself worth getting. Uh, the beginning of it kind of explains its purpose and talks about the uh, majority text the pa and the difference between the majority text and the patriarch patriarchal text, which there's not a whole lot of difference between those two texts. The TR, the majority text, and the patriarchal text are all very, very similar. Um, I thought their note and description on that uh, was worth bringing out to you. And I'll read this to you. Although there are good scholarly arguments for war and against using the Byzantine majority text over the critical text, many Orthodox hier hierarchs and theologians take the following into consideration. When a scribe had a choice of manuscripts to copy, he would normally copy the one that he trusted the most, thus causing the most trusted text to be copied more often. The Holy Spirit takes an active interest in preserving what he has inspired and in what the church has used for her liturgical life. At the very least, the Byzantine textual tradition reflects the life of the Spirit in the church and can be considered the ecclesiastical text and an assured witness. So they do uh, make a distinction between the ecclesiastical text and what would have been the autograph. Um, but what's interesting here is, again, how many text-critical notes they have. And that's not just um, in regards to the Byzantine text versus the critical text versus, um, you know, the, the TR. All those are in there. Uh, but what's interesting, too, is when the quotations from the Old Testament arise, they um, try to let you know... Um, when the New Testament agrees with the um, Septuagint against the Masoretic text. So for Eastern Orthodox, their authoritative text is the Septuagint. And so there's a lot of text critical notes of quotations from the Old Testament uh, to the New Testament. Font size on this is very readable. It's a, a small font, but it is readable. You've got some room uh, to make notes along the edges, which I like. There's two ribbon markers here, which is good. Um, this is a nice text to make comparisons. Um, I'll take you to a rather famous textual variant. Um, 1 John 5, 7, the comma. We'll look at that. Um, if I could focus for a second and get to 1 John and stop flipping around aimlessly. 1 John... Um, five, seven, and they have the text of First John five seven, but then they pretty much abandon it 
in um, in their text critical notes. Only a few recent manuscripts include this clause, known as the comma. Then it quotes the comma. This passage is undoubtedly an interp interpolation or later theological comment, seemingly of Spanish Latin origin, but it is part of the patriarchal text in smaller characters, and therefore included in the main text of the EOB New Testament. And yeah, they have bracketed 1 John 5, 7 off. So I thought that was interesting how they handled that. They also have the famous one, uh, by the way, 1 John 5, 7 is a notable difference between the majority text and the Texas uh, Recipitus. Um, they did something fairly similar with um, Acts chapter 8 in the Ethiopian eunuch. Uh, they set that off into, uh, into brackets. But anyways, just a very um, interesting uh, text. Again, the notes alone here make it um, worth having. And uh, so I'm very thankful to the viewer who uh, sent this to me, and I'm happy to give you a review. So uh, it does have a map section here at the back, I should mention. And there's some nice illustrations kind of at the beginning and end of this uh, New Testament. So if you're looking for um, an English uh, version, which interacts with the critical text, um, the majority text, and really the Septuagint and Masoretic text quotations that are found in the New Testament, this would be a good choice for you.